And then, uh, I guess we, this is important too, the de demonstration uh, of the, uh, of the bathroom here, the toilet, the WHC. It's uh, it uses a lot of the same hardware as the ASU, the Russian toilet. It's a it's a Russian design. Um, we have a system that's integrated with it to take urine, collect it, and convert it into drinking water. And so that's an aspect that's unique to ours. But most of the hardware for the actual collecting of the solid and the liquid waste is is Russian. And there are components in here that occasionally break. We've had our fair number of uh, repairs on this mission so far. And, um, and those are all behind these panels here. And then there's a pretty complicated uh, control panel for what, you know, at home is just a simple uh, device that you just uh, flush with a single handle. This has a lot of buttons and a lot of instructions in case something goes wrong, what to do if you get a red light, the dreaded red light uh, on the panel when you're going to the bathroom. So for uh, urine, we have a, a tube that collects it and this takes it through a system that mixes it with some chemicals and then it eventually is processed in the urine processing assembly, which is down here underneath us, and that gets converted into drinking water. Um, and then for solid waste, you can kind of see how this looks a little bit like a toilet. Both, both the hose and the, um, or the solid waste container use suction to make sure that everything goes where it's supposed to. But basically solid waste is collected in a bag and then that bag is collected in this container down below here and we change that uh, about every seven or eight days as it fills up. And then we discard the can itself in a vehicle like Cygnus um, that will burn up in the atmosphere.